Hey everybody, today we're here at Picmonic again. My name's Kendall Wyatt. I'm the content director here at Picmonic and we're going over our Picmonic study snippet series. What that is is little tiny tidbits of information you need to know that's super high yield for all of your exams and your NCLEX. Today we're gonna to talk about the electrolyte magnesium. What do you need to know about it? What, what do you need to know when it's high, when it's low, what's the lab value, and of course, all those little associations. Now, when you feel like you're solid on the content, head over to our Mastery Challenge where you can really see if you remember all of the facts for long-term retention. And of course, it's free. If you don't feel solid on the content yet, you can always visit one of our webinars where we go into much more detail explaining more crazy things about all the nitty-gritty details. After that, be sure to download our absolutely free outline and study guide. Let's talk about the lab value first. What's that normal range that you absolutely have to memorize? Let's take a look at the Picmonic. Here we have our Picmonic on magnesium. Of course, we use fun pictures to remember everything you need to know in medicine. So magnesium, or magnesium magazine, which we use in Picmonic, will let you remember that it's 1.5 to 2.5. That's the normal lab value that you need to remember. So let's look at the concept of magnesium. Magnesium, what does it do in the body? Well, it relaxes. That's what you need to remember. So let's look at our hypermagnesemia Picmonic. If you have too much magnesium, what happens? Well, you can remember that in Picmonic with this Hiker Magnesium Magazine. And here he is, just chilling, relaxing. Look how relaxed he is. And that's what you need to remember with magnesium. And with that, you need to remember that everything in the whole body is relaxed and slowed down. So your relaxed deep tendon reflexes, your respirations are decreased. And you can see that right here is the down arrow DTRs, the down arrow respirator, so easy to remember. Along with that, everything else is relaxed. Bradycardia, hypotension, down, down, down. That's what you need to remember for hypermagnesemia. Now, what do you think is going to be happening in hypomagnesemia? Well, we can just recall our Hippo Magnesium Magazine. Here's our hypomagnesemia picmonic. Now, you can instantly see right here, this hippo is angry, angry hippo. He's ready to charge because everything with low magnesium levels are right on edge. They're excited. You have increased deep tendon reflexes. You touch those reflexes and they go crazy. You have increased respirations. You have the risk of seizures. Super important, remember, seizure, seizures. You have that risk with decreased magnesium levels or hypomagnesemia. Super important to remember those differences. Now, the concept of magnesium, you see here that it relaxes. Now, what you can do is you can tie this in with the concept of drugs. Pharmacology is so tough with nursing school, med school, everything. But you can tie it in right here and realize that what common drug do we give to relax patients? Well, we have a picmonic to that. Let's take a look. Here's our magnesium sulfate picmonic. So our magnesium magazine again with this sulfur match. So what do we use magnesium sulfate for? Well, we use it to relax things. What things? Preterm labor contractions. And you can see it right here in Picmonic. We can also use it for preeclampsia or this pre-eclamp. What are some side effects of too much magnesium? And what do you need to monitor? Well, it's really important that you monitor what? Deep tendon reflexes. And as soon as those deep tendon reflexes relax or are absent, you've given too much magnesium. Because what's a sign of hypermagnesemia? Decreased deep tendon reflexes. There you've learned a drug, you've learned two electrolyte imbalances just by learning the concept. And the beauty of it is you can learn all of this with fun pictures inside of Picmonic. So go today, try it out for free, and learn the Picmonics yourself. They're super easy to see all of these fun images like Hippo Magnesium Magazine or that crazy hiker relaxing with his Magnesium Magazine. There's thousands of Picmonics. You can learn them all, these easy concepts. Go in and learn all of those detailed facts that you can know forever. Learn them longer, learn them easier with Picmonic. 